Is it the time of the year or the relaxed mask guidance from the CDC? Whatever it is, air travel appears to be on the rebound. Sure does. As West Chu's Amanda Dukes reports, Orlando International Airport just had one of its busiest Sundays for departures since the pandemic began. The number of travelers passing through Orlando International Airport continues to increase. It was packed. I mean, this plane was elbow to elbow. An airport spokeswoman said this past Sunday was the busiest day for departures since the pandemic began. Here's a look at how this weekend compared with the same weekend last year, which was within the first few months of the pandemic's impact on air travel. One year ago Saturday, there were close to 5,400 departures. But this past Saturday, there were 60,650. A year ago Sunday, there were 5,700 departures. This Sunday, there were 66,569. Air travel is still not back to pre-pandemic numbers, but it's headed in that direction. Based on what I saw today, everybody seems to want to travel. It's, it's just crazy. The latest travel research indicates Orlando International Airport will continue to see a steady rise in passenger traffic, especially this summer. Air travel industry experts say domestic travel seat capacity this summer is expected to surpass 2019 pre-pandemic numbers with more than 2 million seats available per month. As for how many of those travelers will be headed to Florida, numbers just released by Visit Florida indicate there has been steady improvement in tourism during the first three months of 2021. Travel industry leaders envision bluer economic skies ahead as the area's theme parks and other businesses scale back mask requirements and other social distancing rules. In Orange County, Amanda Dukes, WESH 2 News. The newest estimates by Visit Florida included a revision of the overall numbers for 2020 that indicates the pandemic was worse on the leisure and hospitality industry than previously projected.